There was an absolute hockey catastrophe last night. The New York Islanders lost a 5-4 overtime loss to the San Jose Sharks while leading up by three in the third period. Seriously, how in the world do you let a lead like that slip away, especially to the Sharks? The Islanders are in a seemingly sure win situation with a three goal cushion as the third period ticks down. Fans are practically tasting victory, but then, in a turn of events, the Islanders' ship starts sinking into the water. In the final eight minutes of regulation, their three-goal lead dissolves into thin air. And the worst part, William Eklund of the Sharks delivers the final blow. A game winner with only 4.3 seconds left in overtime. You can't script a more gut-wrenching finish. Coach Lane Lambert's words were spot on to lose that hockey game is a sin. It's an absolute head-scratcher. The San Jose Sharks' comeback was made by Thomas Hertel. Hertel getting a hat trick became the Islanders' worst nightmare. His final goal tying the game with just a minute 30 left was like watching a horror movie unfold. You know it's coming, but you can't look away. Brock Nelson hit the nail on the head. It's unacceptable. When you're leading by two goals at home with minutes left on the clock, you're supposed to lock down. Yet the Islanders found a way to let it slip through their fingers. But as the Islanders learned the hard way, a game isn't over until it's over. The San Jose Sharks' resilience was on full display. The Islanders' play in the final moments was a harsh lesson in hockey. Coach Lambert's frustration was obvious, it's on our stick, we turn it over, it's in the back of our net. A simple yet painful truth. So there you have it, a game that will be remembered not for the moments of great goals, but for a loss that's hard to accept. Comment down below what you think of this game, and if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Hope to see you in the next one.